Hi, this is Neely with Great Healing Getaways, giving you another holistic news update with people and places that integrate holistic health and wellness from around the world. This is an interesting news item I came across. New research suggests that mega doses of vitamin E, the so-called sunshine vitamin, may help fight both tuberculosis and reduce the risk of death from HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. An estimated 1.5 million people die each year of tuberculosis amid concerns that the disease is rapidly becoming drug resistant. Now, a new study suggests TB treatment could be significantly enhanced with the addition of vitamin D to the regimen. Researchers at Queen Mary University in London studied 95 tuberculosis patients. All received the standard antibiotic treatment but some were given a supplement of a very high dose of vitamin D, about 10 times the average dose. Investigators led by Adrian Martinau found the TB bacterium cleared from those in the vitamin D group in an average of 23 days. This was approximately two weeks sooner than those on the antibiotics alone. Martineau says vitamin D, the so-called sunshine vitamin, appears to bolster the body's natural defenses. But a second and interesting effect is that vitamin D also dampens down potentially harmful inflammatory responses in the lung that's been implicated in lung damage, he said. So it also accelerates healing of cavities caused by the TB bug. The tuberculosis bacterium causes cavities to form in the lungs in response to inflammation, which is part of the body's immune response. The microbe hides in these pockets. He suggests that reducing inflammation helps heal the cavities more quickly, causing less lung damage and helping patients clear the infection in a shorter period of time. Before antibiotics, TB patients underwent so-called heliotherapy or forced sunbathing to increase their levels of vitamin D. His finding appears to validate the old-fashioned therapy. We're very excited about the, these positive results, he said, but what we need to do now is go ahead and repeat the study in a larger number of patients. And if that also shows a positive effect, then we could be in a situation where, where we could begin to start recommending vitamin D in tuberculosis treatment. Vitamin D levels have been shown to be reduced or very low in individuals with a number of chronic ailments, including AIDS. In another new study, researchers in Tanzania reported that HIV-positive individuals with vitamin D deficiency became sicker and were twice as likely to die as those with sufficient or normal levels. The researchers looked at vitamin D levels in 1,100 men infected with the AIDS virus between 2006 and 2010. Their study on HIV and vitamin D was published in the journal PLUS One, an article by Adrian Martinau and colleagues on the treatment of tuberculosis with supplement vitamin D can be found in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And that's my holistic update. Thanks for watching.